In this screencast, I'll show you how to use Excel to implement the newton raphson method, also known as Newton's method. And the reason that you might want to use the newton raphson method is to find the root or the zero of a function. Now for some functions, such as quadratics, it's quite easy to find the roots using an analytical approach. But for other functions, there isn't necessarily an analytical solution. And so the newton raphson method is a numerical method and a way of finding the root or the zero of a particular function. In this example I'm using a third order polynomial but it could be any other function so long as you can differentiate the function and we'll see why that is important in a moment. So just to explain how the newton raphson method works from a graphical point of view what we're doing is we're taking an initial guess which we have to supply and we're, look, we're looking at the, uh, the tangent to the curve of that initial guess and seeing where it crosses the zero and we're taking that point as an improved estimate for the root and then we repeat that, we take that improved estimate and repeat the process until we converge onto the actual value for the root and so how this will work is with our initial guess we have to evaluate a few different things to do with the function the first is just to simply evaluate the function as it is and get the f of xi. So what's the value of the curve at xi? Next we have to differentiate the function and get the gradient at xi, so the f, da f dash of xi. And to differentiate a polynomial is fairly straightforward. We reduce the exponent from 3 to 2 for this term and we also multiply the coefficient, the minus 1.9167 we times that by 3 and we've differentiated that part of the function. Next we reduce the exponent from 2 to 1 and multiply the coefficient by 2 and for the final value we reduce the exponent from 1 to 0 so the x disappears and we multiply the coefficient by 1 so it just stays the same and we've differentiated our polynomial and we evaluate that polynomial at xi and get the gradient at that point. Next we draw a tangent to the curve at that point and as we said before where that tangent crosses the zero is an improved estimate for our root. Now to mathematically get a value for that we have to do a few steps and I'll show you what those are now. So we've got our improved estimate there um, but we can get the gradient We've got the gradient from our function from differentiating the function, but we can also get the gradient by looking at various values here. So we can do that by considering rise over run. What's the rise over run to get from this point to this point? Well, the rise is actually a fall in this case. We have to go from f of xi down to 0. So we go minus f of xi to get from this point to this point. And that's our top term here for our derivative. The run to go across, we have to go from xi to xi plus 1. So we do xi plus 1 minus xi, and that gives us our run. So that goes underneath for our term on our derivative there. To so the gradient at this point can be given by differentiating the function, but it can also be given by this numerical construct, this graphical construct here. And if we set these two terms equal to each other, We've got an equation that we can rearrange and that will give us the newton raphson formula. So to start with, we'll take the xi plus 1 minus xi over to the left hand side and we'll take the f dash of xi over to the right hand side. And finally, we'll add on xi to both sides and this is the overall newton raphson formula. And what this allows us to do is to take an initial guess xi, evaluate the function f of xi, evaluate the derivative f dash of xi and come up with an improved estimate for that root. And of course as we said earlier we can keep going, we can take that improved estimate and put it through the formula again and repeat that over and over and if I just zoom in here we can see that eventually we'll converge onto the root for the function. So. We can keep going up, draw another tangent, go down, go up, draw another tangent, go down. And eventually we'll converge onto a value there that is the, the root for the function. 
So how do we do this in the actual spreadsheet? Well, here's our function, our f of x. Here's our f dash of x that we saw from before. And we're going to use an initial guess of 2 here. And we can evaluate the function. As you can see there, we've got all the coefficients, all of the x values being raised to the right powers. And the same for the derivative, the f dash of x i. And the newton raphson formula was simply to take xi and take away f of xi divided by f dash of xi. Close brackets, enter, and that's an improved estimate for the root of that function. Now we fill all these formulas down, copy them down, we'll continually repeat that process and get to an improved estimate of the root. And you can see that after five iterations, there's no change to six decimal places in xi, so that's a fairly good estimate. And in fact, after six iterations, the f of xi has gone to zero, showing that we've got to the root for that function. And that is overall a simple explanation of how the Newton-Raphson method works and how it can be implemented in Excel.